do is an auxiliary verb and also a main verb. Now we are seeing the functions of do as an auxiliary verb. We have already seen questions and negatives and now the next one is additions. additions. So for example if you say they get up as you can see here they get up early and we also get up early. So that is adding. They get up early and so we also get up early. So instead of repeating the main verb you can say as it is here they, they get up early and so do we. So simple. Isn't it? They get up early and so do we. So use of do for additions. Adding. That's additions. In this case what you have to be careful is the tense of the main sentence and the tense of the do. And again you can see there is another difference. We don't say we do but we say you change the position. You invert the position. And so do we. These are the two things that you should keep in your mind. We are using do for additions. Two points to remember is one, beware of the tense of the main sentence. And secondly, you have to invert. Do comes first and the actual subject of the sentence. Yes, we do. It should be like that. And then the actual subject is we. And then it is followed by do. But in this case, you uh, we comes or the subject comes after do. As you can see here. They get up early and so do we. So do we. So you are, you are adding. And then the next one you can see. So next one. They got up early and we also got up early. Instead of that you can say they got up early and so did we. So here it is not do but it is did. Why? Because the main sentence, the verb is past. Past. See, see the next one. They got up early and he gets up early and she also gets up early. That is a she gets he gets up early and so does she. Third person singular, does she. Not do she, but does she. So this the two points that you have to remember is first you have to see the, uh, the tense, if it is past tense, then did, if it is present tense, do, if it is present tense, third person, then does. That's all. You have more examples here. They go to the seaside and so do we. We also go to the seaside. And next one, you like listening to music and so does she. That's she, because she is the third person singular. Third one, they went for a picnic and so did we. They went, so we also. She finished fourth one, she finished the work and so did he. Past tense, past. Fifth one, my brother lives in America and so do we. What is it? Then his friends did the homework and so did he. His friends did, so did he. Dad works hard and so do we. So that is addition. Very important as far as uh, spoken English is concerned. In conversations and so on, you need not repeat the whole thing, otherwise you will repeat, you know. They got up early and we also got up early. <laughs> it's very simple, uh, the simple, the, a very simple way of adding you to that action. They, they wrote the essay and so did we. They wrote the essay and so did we. They played football and so did we. Understand? He plays football and so did they or we. He played and so did persons. Understand? So this is another first use we saw 
negative second questions and now third is additions. I think this is very clear to you. Okay. Very good. Fine. Thank you.